We've had a couple of instances recently where we've wanted to cancel subscriptions and we've ended up having to jump through hoops to do it. Now, these are large, well-known organisations who should understand that making it difficult for your customers to get served is not a good look. And in my experience, if you're running a membership and you're not enabling your members to manage their subs, update their payments or cancel easily, it smacks a bit of desperation like you're trying to keep them tied in. So if you are running a membership, you need to look regularly at your systems and processes from the user perspective and make sure that you're not creating unnecessary friction, especially around anything to do with their money. In this episode of BMTV, I'm going to show you a hassle-free way to empower your members to take control of their payments, update their card details and access all of their invoices with ease. If you've got a membership or you've got some people that are on subscription payments or retainer payments or something like that with you um, and you're using Stripe, you can allow your customers to update payment and subscription details with a pre-built customer portal. So you are effectively allowing them to log into your Stripe account and to update their details. Now, don't panic. That might sound a bit scary but they don't have access to anything other than their own card details. When you log in to your Stripe dashboard and you land on the dashboard or home, as it says at the top, you should see this if you haven't got your customer portal already set up. So all you have to do is click on create link and it's going to take us through to be able to do it. And all you have to do is click on the activate link and it's going to give us a link that we can now use. You can, of course, change into a pretty link so it looks nicer um, and you remember it (laughs) and you can send it out to all of your customers or you could have a process happening in the back end, say with MailerLite or ActiveCampaign, that when somebody asks you how do they do it, you have an automation that you can just pop them into and it sends them the details of how to do it. You could even give them a video of what to do and where to go. So down here, you get to choose all of the bits and pieces that you allow them to access. So do you want them to see their invoice history? Uh, So anything that's left open, anything that's been paid, and you just toggle these options on and off. So can they access and update their billing information? We'll click on shipping address with this particular one. Okay, so that's cool their payment methods. Yes, we want them to be able to um, update their payment methods and their subscriptions. So this will allow them to pause, cancel, um, or any of those kind of things, okay? And you might not want them to be able to pause, so we're not gonna allow them to do that. Do you want them to be able to switch plans, update their quantities? You can decide um, what happens. I would make sure that this one isn't ticked you don't want anything to cancel immediately sometimes your systems that allow people access to their content are linked to this so if somebody cancels immediately it might kick them out and actually they've already paid for this part of the month and you want it to end at the billing cycle so make sure that the the billing period um, is the one that you choose rather than the cancels immediately Then you can choose whether to collect a cancellation reason or not, and you can edit the reasons as to what it is that they can choose from. Click save, um, and literally click save changes, and then we pop that into another browser just so that we can have a look. And this is what's gonna happen. They then have to pop their email address in, click on send code and then Stripe will send them a verification code which they then pop in to the system. That then gives them the authentication to go in and make those changes. So it's really straightforward and it's probably less clunky than an update your details system that you already have in place. So have a look at what you've already got. This could change that for you and make it a lot more streamlined because essentially we can mess about and manage people's access to content manually if we need to. That's not really an issue. But when it comes to taking payments that people don't want to go out or having payments fail, that's quite a big issue. So this is a real game changer 
Um, so thank you Stripe for making our lives so much easier. So that's how you can activate Stripe's client portal. If you want more genius tips and tricks for running a successful membership business, then head over to bexmcneil.co.uk and check out the tips and tricks tab. Then make sure that you're subscribed so that new episodes land directly in your inbox.